Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we use the two important features that are used in any kind of a printed document and these are the headers and footers in Microsoft Excel. So basically in today's uh, video, we are going to see that how can we apply the headers as well as the footers in any kind of a Microsoft Excel sheet that is uh, available to us. And uh, remember one thing that these headers and footers would not be available while uh, viewing the Excel sheet, but they would only be visible whenever you are trying to print that particular sheet. So uh, if you want, you can just uh, simply print this sheet uh, using the shortcut like control P. So this print preview option would be visible to you. And here, as you can see that this is the print preview option that I have got. And some of my sheet is available over here. And uh, on the second page, the rest of the sheet is available. And the reason uh, why this sheet is divided into two pages is because I have uh, aligned it in such a way that it is now uh, divided into two pages so that we can simply apply the uh, concept of the headers and footers. Here you can see that in this print preview option, there are already some of the headers and footers that are available to me. Now you can see that uh, this is the uh, number. Uh, these are these three columns of the headers and these uh, some columns of the photos as well and if you want to just understand them then you can simply understand it as this is the uh, page number this middle column is the page number this column over here represents the total number of pages this represents the name of this uh, project that is book 3 over here it represents the uh, present date here it represents the name of the file that is header and photo and here it is the path. So this is what I have uh, chosen to be used in my headers and photos and this is what I have customized it to look like but it's totally up to your choice that how you want your headers and photos to look like. And uh, you can easily use some predefined formats or you can just customize it as per your wish. So if you want to customize it or if you want to use the predefined format, what you got to do is just follow these simple steps. Now you can just see over here that uh, these dotted lines that are available after the column J and after the column T represent the page. Uh, so this first page is from column A and uh, up till column J and the second page is from column K up till column T. So that is why my sheet or whatever my table was, was divided into two different pages. When the print preview was shown, it was cause it is available at the intersection of two pages. And uh, I have chosen it because uh, I needed to show it like this. So now the question arises that how can we apply these headers and footers in the sheets? So for that, what you got to do is just uh, go to the page layout tab in Microsoft Excel. And once you have got to the page layout tab, you can just go to this sheet options. You can expand it sheet options or um, any of these expansions that are available. You can just expand it and you will find a dialog box of page setup in front of you. Now this page setup is what is going to help us to customize the headers and footers as per our choice. Now, how can we customize them? There is a tab known as headers and footers. We can just click on that tab. And here you can see that um, there are two options available that we can just customize our header or we can just customize our uh, footer as well. Now, uh, there are different uh, checkboxes also available. We can just look at them that you want different uh, headers for the odd and the even pages uh, or you want the different first page. So these two options are available. And if you just select on any one of them, then whatever the uh, thing that they are saying, <coughs> that is the different odd and the even pages or the different first page would be shown to you. So uh, how can we do that? First of all, uh, we are going to see that how can we apply headers and footers. So this is the custom header that I have already applied. But what if you don't want this custom header? So these are some of the predefined headers also available uh, with Microsoft Excel. 
what you can just uh, do over here is uh, some of these things like you can provide it with a name of the file that is book 3 along with the page number like this uh, you can provide it with some other data like this you can provide it with some other data like this so these are some of the options that are predefined available by Microsoft Excel and if you want you can just choose on any one of them but if you want a custom header there is a button given to you known as the custom header button you can just select on it as soon as you do that this header dialog box will open now this header dialog box allows you to just customize your header as per your wish using these buttons or some of the code which you can easily write and um, there are th uh, these three sections available the left section the center section and the right section available to you now uh, you can just apply your header in these three options uh, first of all uh, you can just apply a left section so in the left section what do i want is I want that the uh, total number of pages should be available that are available uh, in my sheet. So there are two pages available. So that is why I want that two should be written over in the left section of the header. So there is a button called insert number of pages. I can just click on it and you can see that ampersand and within square bracket pages is shown over here. That means that whatever the total number of pages are there would be uh, written in the left section now what if I want some uh, code to be available in the center section in the center section I want the current page number so I just select on that uh, that whatever the current page number is would be shown over here that is uh, ampersand page and in the right section what do I want is I want the current date to be visible so this is the option of the current date so using this I can just uh, apply the current date that is ampersand date and then as soon as I click on ok so this is the custom header that I have got that the total number of uh, pages are uh, it is not actually the correct information shown over here because the total number of pages are two so it must be two over here which is one is shown and then uh, the number of the page of the total pages that it is that is one and the current date similarly i can also customize my footers as well so to customize the footer you can simply uh, if you want select only these options that um, are available to you like this and if you want you can just customize it you can just go to this custom footer options and you can customize it suppose uh, here i want this time to be visible at what time it is right now so i'm just going to insert time and here i want this page number to be visible uh, but i want some text to be visible along with it like page then i want a colon the current page number of and the total number of pages so that is what i'm going to do that page this of this and here i'm going to just remove it so this is how you can customize your photo and along with this predefined things you can also add uh, some of your own text or some of your own uh, signature you want like in the right section i type excel so this would also be available in my photo excel as it is and as soon as i click on ok then you can see that over here the time current time is shown over here page one of one which is in the current format that i have provided is shown and then uh, excel that is the word that i had written is shown now if i just click on this print option then you can uh, easily see that when this uh, page would open this is the kind of the uh, thing that we have got whatever we needed like time page one of two the word excel the date over here the page number one and the total number of pages that is two is shown over here so that is how you can apply the headers and footers to any of the sheets in microsoft excel and I have also shown you that how can you customize headers and photos as per your own choice and as per your wish 
you can use anything uh, to be visible on the headers and photos or if you want you can also use this predefined um, formats of the headers and photos that are given to you by microsoft excel similarly you can see on the second page that uh, the page number has changed to two the rest of the things are same exactly but over here you can see page two of two is shown over here and this page number has been changed to two so this is how you can create uh, headers and photos for yourself in microsoft excel that's all in today's video i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching